On the breakfast, the Nigerian government has made efforts to evacuate students that have been affected by the Russian-Ukraine war. But some Nigerian students are still stranded in Somi, Ukraine, and they beg to come home. An international affairs analyst would take us through the rules of engagement in a situation like this. Also on the breakfast, the Nigerian police force have made an optional adjustment to its female uniform and this adjustment permits Muslim officers to wear the hijab and store earrings, among others. And as always, we take you through the papers of at the front pages of the national dailies and bring you up to speed with what's making the rounds. All right, so uh, top trending this morning was set off with the uh, video that made the rounds talking about the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo. He's been referred to as Baba, and uh, he had this novelty game where he was part of Makini's 85th birthday. You can see Baba scoring the goal there. Uh, as it's popular. But one of the things that has actually generated a conversation for a lot of persons is the fact that he's very strong. You could look at him physically. I mean, his he, his his running with every other person right there at 85, you know, putting out the goal and playing the ball. And some people are saying this is the pr best president that has ever lived. Uh, that, that's according to, you know, the talks and conversation that we have in different spaces. But really, you can see that uh, the former president has been doing a lot, you know, to stay fit. So we take a listen to uh, what the uh, former president's got to say. Uh, you know, if you leave things to God, there's nothing God cannot do. You can make your life at 85 like the life of 45. And it can make your life at 45 be like the life of 85. What is important is that we should ask God for his grace to abound on us. So, what's your advice to your people like you who are older than you? Yeah. Some dream exercise. I will ask them to remember what I call dreams. Dreams. One diet, two rest, three exercise, four medical, medical examination, medical attention and five social interaction. You know, fuel scarcity has been a big issue for some cities in Nigeria. You want to talk about Lagos State, Abuja, among others. So um, over the weekend, there's this video that made the rounds and then you could see, uh, you know, keg, you want to call them uh, jerry cans of uh, it's a souvenir uh, for a ceremony that was taking place in the Havila Center here in the city of Lagos. And that's going to be handed to, um, you know, those who attended the event, looking at the fact that what would be the need of the people at this point in time, because everybody, I mean, the mighty, the lower, everyone is in need of petrol at this point in time because of the scarcity. And so I'm sure that the guests actually thought that it would be a great one for them to hand their, um, their guests, you know, a jerry can of petrol. But unfortunately, we need to also think about safety. Now, safety is everything. As much as we want to survive, we need to think about safety. This is a very sensitive, sensitive, highly sensitive product. And you cannot take out the fact that during an event like this, you have a lot of people who want to take a cigarette. I mean, take a smoke. That's what it is. You know, probably you just go take a smoke, uh, you know, a break and uh, what have you. It's, it's, it's too risky. So the intention might be right, but you also have the fact that uh, I'm not sure that those who actually had this event or those who were um, planners of this event or the event owners themselves thought about the security risks. Now, paraventure, paint a picture in your mind. There was a little bit of any, you know, fire around this environment. The entire structure, the entire building would be set ablaze. And what will happen? Then we'll begin to blame, you know, our villages. You know, village people. 
uh, my village people came, the enemy, the witches, they don't love me. So, but I know that the, the Lagos State Government, I'm sure if the Lagos State Government did not take, you know, an action uh, for this particular one. I'm, I'm, saying that, I'm saying that if they did not take an action, then the people would begin to say, oh, so we have an irresponsive, I mean, irresponsible government. So yes, the Lagos State Government has taken an action and they have sealed, you know, the event center and they are embarking on an arrest of these people. Moving forward, I hope that this is a deterrent to everyone out there. We understand that there's need for petrol, but you also always, in everything that you do, you must consider safety first. And that's very, very important. You cannot take that away. Uh, the intentions were not wrong. They were really right. I mean, I'm sure that the people who attended the event will probably be happy but the risks are too much I mean the uh, the chances of even getting out alive anything could have happened and everyone in that particular building and the building entirely would have been declared dead and then we start blaming it on you know external forces well ignorance usually is not an excuse however we hope that there will also be you know uh, messy tempered you know with justice i think that's how it's been said if i'm very correct but that's it on our top trending usually we bring you all of the uh, stories generating conversation in different spaces across the country we'll definitely come with more interesting stories tomorrow uh, in the meantime we will take a break and when we return it'll be time for us to look at the papers and bring you up to speed what's making the rounds on the national dailies please stay with us